Good day. In this video, I will continue the programming of inverse kinematics through graphical method in our virtual machine. Now, I will add it in our graphical user interface uh, script. Okay. So, after the code or after the program of uh, forward kinematics, I will define I will define the function of inverse kinematics. So I will call it i underscore k close open parenthesis. Don't forget to indent if you are uh, defining a function. Next, I will copy then paste the the given of the inverse kinematics through graphical method from our ikin.py to here. Okay. So again, don't forget to indent. Okay. So this will be centimeter, not uh, millimeter. So here we will not use the float input or the flow. Oh, sorry, we will not use the input uh, statement or the input code. What we will use is what we used here in the given of forward kinematics. Okay, we will use the the uh, the code dot get. Okay, we will uh, get the input from our from our from the from the entry box variables or our Entry box variables are a1 underscore e, a2 underscore e, and a3 underscore e, and a4 underscore e. So I will uh, put it here. a1 underscore e dot get. Okay, close open parenthesis. So it's, it's, it's just like this from our uh, fk function. Okay. I will not uh, convert it yet to meters. I will uh, just let this to be centimeters. So I will uh, copy paste this. Then edit. So don't forget to edit after copy pasting. This is a2, then this is a3, then this is a4. Okay. So the same with the position vector. So this is x. So this is uh, x underscore e. And this is for y. And this is for z. Okay. X. After the given, we will now insert our solution. So first, let's insert the theta two solutions. Okay. So again, don't forget to indent. Okay. So here we will uh, remove the times one eighty over np dot pi our conversion factor. So let's uh just let it to become region. Okay. Next. After that, we will uh. We will now copy the solutions for uh, th3 okay. and paste okay so again i will remove the conversion factor here and i will change the 180 degrees into np that by okay, so that the answer of uh, th3 will become region then lastly the solution for the sub one. Okay. So this is our inverse kinematic solution. Now uh, we will we need the answers to be inserted in our in our uh, entry boxes. So we will uh, we will use this program the dot delete and the dot insert. Okay, so. What we will do is we will insert our answers in the entry box of our position vectors or, our, or, our, or the elements of our position vector. So it is d1 underscore e so dot delete close open parenthesis 0 and then d1 underscore e dot insert. All right, is it insert? Yes, it is insert. So close open parenthesis. 0 and p that around close open parenthesis so d sub 1 then 3 decimal places okay next let's copy this and paste it twice let's uh replace this with that e2 and this will be e2 oh sorry it's not e2 it's e2 
no letter T2 and T2. Okay, then this is TH2. Now we will multiply it. Now our conversion factor 180 over NP that phi. Okay, so this is T3. Then our conversion factor. Oh, sorry. We will multiply TH3 to our conversion factor of region 2 degrees for the for the answer to become degrees okay next we need our link model program so we'll copy the link model program from our forward kinematics so let's copy this and paste it in our function of inverse kinematics okay. so we will edit this uh, link model so unlike our forward kinematics function we will divide our link lengths in our link model to 100 so that they will be converted to they will be converted from centimeters to meters okay then uh, in our plot joints we will replace the small letter d to capital letter d1 then we will divide it also to 100 okay so we'll convert it convert it from a centimeter to meter and let's uh, replace this with th2 and this with th3 okay so let us uh, let this let us uh, leave the plot scale and the plot commands all right so this will be our program of inverse kinematics and uh model in the simulation model okay in our graphical user interface now to end this we will now add the command to our button in our buttons uh, button widget so we will create a button widget for inverse kinematics okay so this will be inverse we can uh, replace the icon we can borrow some icon from our LibreOffice writer okay. let's copy this arrow up and put it in our inverse uh, beside our inverse uh, text then let's change the color let's make it red okay the font color is white and let's change the command into i underscore k okay then next or lastly let's put the ik dot grid let's open parentheses so it so i want it beside the reset button so the row will be equals to zero then column is equals to two okay so let's save it don't forget to save it let then uh, let's test and run okay let's go to our terminal and let's run python 3 do it that five okay so this is our graphical user interface now with inverse kinematics so let's test okay let's test it uh, using these link links then so uh, to put something here at the position vector we will test it first in our forward kinematics so let's start from uh, zero okay uh, joint variables are equals to zero so let's click forward so this is our model and this is our uh, position vector okay this is position vector now let's click uh, inverse so it will just return as a uh, zero joint variables and the same uh, position vector now let's change our our uh, joint variable. So D1 is equal to 10, T2 is 90 degrees, and T3 is negative 90 degrees. So let's test again our forward kinematics. So this is the uh, forward kinematic model, and this is the position vector, its elements, okay, 15, 30, 40. Now let's uh, click the inverse, okay. So this is the this is the joint variables from the inverse kinematics and this is model so that the model changed okay the model changed but let's check if the position vector is at the same position so to test that we will uh, click again forward if uh if the position vectors does not or the position vector does not change it means uh this is the joint variable these joint variables are correct okay from inverse kinematics so let's click so let's uh, remember this is 15 30 and 40 let's click forward okay the position vectors does or position vector does not change okay position vector does not change it means 
disjoint variables from the inverse kinematics is uh, correct and uh, this shows us how inverse kinematics work okay so in forward kinematics the joints the move the joints are are as it is okay while in inverse kinematics okay, the the position vector or the, the move the position vector does not change but the the joint variables changes okay so we can only see the model the models but uh, we don't uh, we still don't see their movement so in the next uh, lectures this next coming lectures i will uh, show how will this how will this uh, models will move. okay this is uh, our inverse kinematics in our graphical user interface calculator and simulator okay thank you